Elliot's cat loafing right beside me. It's so cute. Hello, and welcome to, or back to, my channel. I'm Kit, and today, well, before we get into it, I would like to note that I don't know Misha, and these are my thoughts and opinions on the content she puts out for public consumption. That being said, thank you for clicking on this video, and I would like to give extra thanks to my patrons. Links to my socials and Patreon are below, along with sources and resources, and now, on to the reason we're all here. Misha Petrov is a YouTuber who is providing you social and political commentary on today's evolving issues. And in May, her social and political commentary led her to post this video, Feminist Outrage, Man vs. Bear Debate and Dating. And I decided to use this video to talk about the man vs. bear thing. And really, I'm not sure where the feminist outrage is in this video. The video opens with a woman discussing her frustration with trying to find a partner, which leads to this weird line. But I think the main problem here is that she's fallen victim to this narrative from the modern day feminists that you have to focus on yourself, you have to completely heal whatever that means, and then you can pursue a relationship. Where does she get this stuff? I'm a feminist, I visit feminist spaces, read feminist magazines and books, interact with other feminists, watch feminist YouTubers, and I have never seen, heard, or read, you need to be sure you're completely healed from anything and everything before starting a romantic relationship. As Misha herself points out, The problem is, when are you going to be healed? When are you going to finish growing? Like, you never do, right? Like, life is about change. Yeah, that's why no one, feminist or not, advises waiting until you're 100% perfect to begin a relationship. Common sense, and also weird because the TikTok in question didn't say anything about waiting until perfection to begin looking. They were looking now and having a hard time finding someone. Also, the girl boss narrative, oh yeah, work on yourself, focus on your career, be a girl boss. And then if convenient, if you want it, you can find a man easy peasy one, two, three. It's just interesting to me how these conservative YouTubers always somehow throw girl bossing into a video, even when there's no rhyme or reason for it. And at this point, I've concluded that girl bossing simply means a woman engaged in paid employment. From here, we segue into what I want to talk about. There's a common fear of men, and we saw this recently with the conversation surrounding the bear versus man debate. And if you don't know, this has been going on for a little while, where women were asked, hey, would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? And most of them took that as the question being, would you rather be essayed by a man and then killed and then probably essayed again, or would you rather be mauled by a bear? Maybe. No, I'm pretty sure they took the question as asked. Would you rather be stuck in the woods with a man or bear? So obviously most women said, well, of course the bear, because the bear might leave me alone. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or bear? Bear. Man is scary. Um, with a bear. Well, I've heard about bears. They don't always attack you, right? Unless you like f with them. So maybe a bear. <laughs> 100% a bear, which is like terrifying to say, but... I would say, I would say a man. So yes, there are a lot of evil men out there. But also, bears are larger than men. They're faster. And hypothetically, if you were in the forest, right, wouldn't you rather be with another human, even if it's an evil man, where there's at least a chance of communication? Because when you're with a bear, you can't say, listen, bear, could you maybe not kill me? The bear is not gonna give a shit. Now, the man might not give a shit either, but I think logically you got more hope with the guy. So I think man is the better choice. I am getting the impression that Misha is very sheltered and that's great for her, but the main problem with this question isn't that so many women were saying bear. It's that so many people heard that answer and instead of asking why, they decided to turn it into a debate, fantasize about bears mauling women, or turn it around and say that, well, men would rather be in the woods with a bear than a woman. This is the first time I'm speaking about this at all. And well, let me share a conversation I recently had on my 2022 video. Yes, it still gets comments two years later, purposefully misrepresenting women with strong, successful male. Thank you for spreading more awareness for this awesome channel. You're dreaming if you think people are more aware of my channel than his. I watched pretty much every single one of his videos across the three channels he has. Not that I'm obsessed. I just listen to him while I work and it kills the time. He does call men out too, especially ones that cheat or mess around with married women, so it's not a total female bias. Most of the stories he gets or sees on Reddit are men telling their experiences though. What do you get from it? I just like listening to the stories he reads, people's experiences and the Reddit stories he covers. It makes me laugh 
laugh and passes the time at work. It hasn't turned me into a raging misogynist. There are bad people in the world that do bad things, regardless of gender. That is true, and yet SSM focuses on women on all three of his channels. Calling men idiots isn't the same as trying to insinuate that women are just bad, untrustworthy individuals all around. But this is very interesting. By the way, you might not have realized, but this video is over two years old, and when I published it in 2022, there was a flurry of comments about how men can't be victims. People also tattled on me to SSM, which was pretty funny. I find SSM generally unhealthy for anyone, regardless of sex. I also posted another video on his content a few months later that talked about boundaries. Wonder why that didn't get the same attention. I searched up his channel and your video and another person's video popped up, so I've only seen those two videos that weren't his. I've honestly seen way worse coming from the other side, especially with this new trend of man versus bear, indirectly calling every man a rapist. Men are just being told to avoid women entirely now. Why do you think so many women chose bear? I think... It's a ridiculous question that divides us more than brings us together. The same thing could be said about women. Men should choose the bear over women because at least they won't catch a false charge or have to pay alimony or child support. When I see a woman say, you're the reason why we choose bear or something along those lines, I automatically see that man or woman, since women will attack other women for defending men, being accused of whatever the reason that person chose bear. It's asinine at best. Just my opinion, since you asked. I did ask why he brought the question up if he found it ridiculous and apparently it was supposed to be an example. What's wild to me is how men asking women, man or bear, and women saying bear is women trying to divide men and women. There's no thought or concern or even just plain curiosity as to why so many women would say bear. No, it's just because women are trying to make men out to be evil. But that is what channels like SSMs are for. They exist to sow doubt into everything women say or do, so even something innocuous, like answering a question, can be twisted into something it's not. Women aren't trying to hurt men by choosing bear. And in fact, the person who started this whole thing, he posed the hypothetical to men. The bear or man in the woods thing was never actually a would you rather question. I know because I'm the one who started it and I figured I'd use this tag to clarify some things. On March 12th, I ended a video by saying, if you're alone in the woods, seeing a man is 10 times scarier than seeing a bear. Someone commented on that video saying, no, seeing a bear is so much scarier than seeing a man, bro. I responded to that comment laying out why women are more scared of men than the bear and that response went viral on the 19th. This topic started trending and growing for a few weeks, and then it really blew up with the street interviews. I never presented it as a would you rather question because I already knew that women were picking the bear and men were picking the man. My whole page is trying to get people who look like me to empathize with and understand the life experiences of people who don't look like us. So my intention here was to get men to think about why the world looks so different for women that they would actually choose the bear. And my challenge to any man watching who picks the man in this scenario is, can you get yourself to a place where you would rather pick the bear? Can you get to that level of understanding? Because if you can bring yourself to understand why they choose the bear, congratulations, you've experienced 1% of 1% of 1% of what they experience every day of their lives, and you experienced it for two and a half minutes. And that is how we got here with men angry that women choose bear. And that sort of response, anger, is why women say, you're the reason we choose bear. And if someone can't understand what that means, that's actually concerning. Let me put it this way. If Diana grew up seeing lots of anger and possibly violence from men, and then one day someone asks her if she'd rather be in the woods with a man or bear, and she decides bear because at least bears can't yell or gaslight or throw things, and actually bears typically leave humans alone, and then men, men she doesn't even know, get upset at her answer, that's not going to make her think she was wrong. That was pretty much it for the bear stuff. Misha also touches on Harrison Butker's speech and I'll link my video on it in the cards. She also included a TikTok of a woman telling Harrison to go to therapy, which perhaps counts as the promised feminist outrage. I don't think Misha watched the whole speech and is aware of how odd the whole thing was. She also discusses Pearl's antics on Twitter and some sort of argument in Congress, but honestly, it wasn't very interesting. I just wanted to use this video as a jumping off point to discuss the bear versus man thing. And also, does Pearl give marriage advice? I wouldn't say so, but Misha thinks she does. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.